shelter in place, day 17. Is anybody feeling a little disoriented at the moment like I am? Talk about the cracks. I am crack a lacking all over the place here today. So I thought to myself, there's no shame in it. We need to talk about it. Let's put it all on the table. The anatomy of a meltdown. Now, if we're being honest with each other, we are all having them in one way or another. And I thought, let me share my meltdown with you today so that you know you are not alone. You can let your emotional freak flag fly. So when you're in an emotional meltdown, you want to be in it. Go with it. You know what I'm about to say? Feel your feelings. It's cool, boo. You're having a feelization. Now, when I first start having a meltdown, I like to move my body. Get the wiggles out. What we don't want is for that energy to stick on us. It's okay to have a, a meltdown, but if it becomes stuck and stagnant, that's when it's not good for us. So I need you to get into the driver's seat and I need you to put those feelings in the passenger seat. It could be an emergency. Now I wanna give you some tips, techniques, and tools that will bring you out better and healthier on the other side. Win-win. There's a plethora of feelings that can go into a meltdown. Do any of these sound familiar? Grief, fear, uncertainty, confusion, frustration, anger, sadness, I am familiar. And the meltdown can manifest in a lot of different ways. It can alter your physical appearance. You might be crying uncontrollably, laughing inappropriately. You may be tired. You might just be being a crankopotamus. You might be acting out physically. And you may just have gas. And we were talked about that. So the important thing is not to harm yourself or others and to wear clean underoos. This is a no shart zone. I don't want you to hold it in. You need to push it out. Lose your shit. Let the poop hit the fan. Don't suppress that crap. Don't cry for me, Quarantina. Now let's talk about some alternative approaches and things that we can melt. Number one, fondue. I love me some fondue. My favorites are chocolate and cheese. How about you? Number two, candles. Let's melt us some candle wax. Nothing like a little ambient lighting and a nice scent in the air. Number three, pot. What the world needs now is love, sweet love. And no, I wasn't talking about weed for all you herbalists out there. Once we have that meltdown and move it through us, we need to then backfill with love and light. You know what the antidote and the counter to a meltdown is? Saying to yourself and repeating over and over, I am safe and I am abundant. I am good enough, I am smart enough, and doggone it, somebody loves me. The greatest gift that you can give yourself or someone else that's having a meltdown is to hold space and to give grace. There's a lot of value in a healthy meltdown. It's good to let the steam off the top of the pot. We need to have a meltdown to cool down. As we know right now, if there's one thing that we can count on, it's change. And we need to be in the flow of the moment. Shift happens. 
But the sooner that we come to an acceptance of that, the better off we'll be. So I want you to tell me, what is your meltdown du jour? What do you do when things go sideways? So even if you're a hot mess, I want you to know that I am sending you a big ooey gooey bunch of melting love. And as a friendly reminder, keep your head up and of course, keep your tits up.